Prospect Watch, Kentucky Derby 2020, opening day at Santa Anita, and it's the opening race. And we saw an impressive debut winner, Devil Made Me Do It. The cleverly named son of Daredevil, trained by Doug O'Neill, first time out, and he makes every pole a winning one as he kind of drew a little bit of heat in the first half mile and drew off to an impressive three-length win. Let's take a little more in-depth look at this son of Daredevil. Of course, this is the first crop of Daredevil. His first crop are two-year-olds of 2019. They'll be three-year-olds of 2020. And he has already been exiled to Turkey, so not a lot of uh, response over the first couple of years at the sale. We'll take a look at Daredevil's workout back in June for the OBS sale, but I can tell you that he was of seven horses that were listed being auctioned off or by Daredevil. Only three of them sold 6,000, 21,000, and 20,000. And actually, Devil Made Me Do It looks like he was not officially sold in the sale. They list a price of 245, but they don't list a buyer, so they may have purchased him privately after the sale for the 245. Or... Meanwhile, it was an impressive debut victory, and pedigree wise, you've got some mud breeding definitely on both sides. You've got that more than ready and 49er influence on the sire side. Danzig on the mare side, and even Pulpit can add a little bit of some slop breeding. Meanwhile, the pedigree's a little bit on the light side. Can see why this one didn't go for a bunch, but of course, Doug O'Neill's brother, Dennis O'Neill, tends to have an eye on some of those first crop sires. And this one, the first dam didn't do much. He was on play. Second dam, not as much there. Really, you get to that third dam, which is multiplied by Easy Goer. She was the dam of nine foals, including six winners. One of them was Corinthian. Another one was Desert Hero. She dropped B Fruitful, and that is a sister to Corinthian. So Corinthian, if you remember, did win also in the slop. That was the year that the Breeders' Cup was at uh, New Jersey at Monmouth when it rained like five inches on that Friday and Saturday. So possibility of seeing this horse in the slop in the future. Is he going to stretch out? Well, we don't really know. It's the first crop of Daredevil when he went to stud. Uh, of course, Daredevil won himself in the slop, the champagne, and then really never trained on as a three-year-old. So you're kind of a mystery if you're going to get some of that distance pedigree. But I think six furlongs to a mile, definitely going to be doable. And we'll just see kind of where the class goes. Winning uh, on his debut gives him a little bit of options. Not a lot of horses at Santa Anita. And if they do want to try to stretch him out, you could possibly maybe see this horse either go to Oaklawn, as Doug O'Neill has a division at Oaklawn, and he also has a few horses traditionally at Santa Anita. An exciting prospect, Devil, made me do it the first race, Santa Anita on opening day, Saturday, December 28th. Remember, we're going to take a look at some of these top prospects as they get along on the Kentucky Derby Trail and the Kentucky Oaks Trail. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and remember, we'll lead you all the way up to the Kentucky Derby 2020. What do you think? Is Devil Made Me Do It a top prospect? Is he going to stretch out, or is he going to be more of a win-early type horse on the Kentucky Derby 2020 trail?